So here we are at Malibu Lagoon. Uh, we The mouth is breached, so the mouth is open right over there. This is uh, a relatively unusual event here, this opening. Um, most of the year it's going to be closed, uh, closed connection with the fresh water and the ocean. Um, uh, this area here we're standing on, it would typically be more, I would be in about, oh, uh, I would say a couple weeks ago I would have been in um, up to my waist or maybe my chest in terms of the, not probably not my chest, but probably, probably my weight, knees to waist high in terms of water here. Uh, we see a lot of use of this area, but most of the use is happening in the, uh, on the beach area, on the, on the sandy region. Um, uh, we see some wading birds, some wetland obligate uh, uh, birds in here, as well as a lot of um, facultative critters like the seagulls that are just opportunistic in this particular area. Uh, historically, before we did the most recent restoration, people used to be able to access this site through the middle of the lagoon over a, a bridge, a uh, series of bridges. Now everybody has to go around to the outside. So that's helped also create less disturbance in the middle of the wetland. Um, and people can, and the birds can do their stuff and the critters can do their stuff with, with less disturbance from uh, people. Obviously there's still a lot of disturbance here on the oceanic edge, on the beach edge, and, and on uh, Pacific Coast Highway, on uh, the bridge area there, you can see uh, going over Malibu Creek that feeds into this area. Most of the, most of the water movement, most of the year is coming input uh, through the, the creek area up there. Most of the water is going to go out right now when it's open through, directly through a surface water connection. When this is closed, you'll see subsurface movement of water through the sandy, uh, uh, through, through the beach uh, sediments, uh, connecting with the, water, the oceanic water, etc. cetera. Uh, historically, we had some issues with um, septic, and in fact, that is still a, an, an aspect of what's going on here. Most of the houses here historically have been on septic system. They are not on, they were not on a, um, city sewer and so you can imagine sandy beach uh, people flushing the toilets and stuff uh, and, and not a not a surface connection so there was a lot of um, eutrophication of this area that came from the homeowners uh, and the residents in the area using that type of septic system um, this area uh, did not burn in the Woolsey fire but this area did burn um, it ha has consistently burned most recently about uh, a decade or uh, yeah, about a little, a little bit more than a decade or so ago uh, in this area with the Malibu fires of uh, that year, but it's very a very fire prone area. So in addition to the other stressors, in addition to the, the inputs that come in from water and nutrients, we also occasionally have significant sediment inputs and, and a debris associated with uh, denuded landscapes in the wake of wildfires. Uh, but again, that hasn't directly happened here for, for, for a bit of time but that is part of the system and the ecology and the dynamics here. Very important area in terms of, of birds. It's one of the most popular places to look for birds in Malibu, in, excuse me, in, in Los Angeles County and all kinds of good stuff here in, um, in Malibu Lagoon in Malibu, California.